friends welcome to this fourth lecture on major theory okay till now what we have done we have this situation we have this fellow john and he wants a function m defined on subsets of r to uh, extended r okay he wants a function m which should satisfy these properties basically he wants a generalization of length function l so he wants that m of i should be l of i and he wants that m of a plus y where a plus y stands for the translation of the set a by a real number y should be m of a and he wants that m of union of e i's should be summation m of e i's whenever e i's are disjoint okay this is for the summation is from i is equal to 1 to infinity so this is basically countable union and countable summation <coughs> and this m is called this m is called this m is called Li uh, lebesgue major okay and there is this fellow henry okay this was john and there is this fellow henry who is helping john but he has told john that before defining m he has to learn like uh, before learning about m john has to learn about m star and we have defined the definition of m star in the last video and in this video this henry is saying to john that you want your m which is lebesgue major to satisfy these three properties this is 1 2 and 3 and instead of m i have defined m star yet and m star was called outer lebesgue major in the last video we have we have given the definition for this okay and now in this video henry is proving that m star satisfies property 1 2 but not 3 okay so m star will satisfy property 1 2 but not 3 so basically we will prove that m star of i is l of i where i is any interval of r and then m star of a plus y is equal to l of a plus y and third property we have m star of union of e i's is less than is equal to summation m of m star of e i's whether e i's are disjoint or not okay so henry will now prove these three properties okay because m star is not satisfying this third property that is why it will not work for john that is why we have to modify m star to get our m so now uh, henry will prove these three properties and he'll start with the simplest one which is simplest to prove so we'll start with the second property so let us do that <coughs> so our now our aim is to prove m star of a plus y is equal to m star of a this is called outer lebesgue major is translation invariant outer lebesgue major is translation invariant okay so let us prove this first of all we should know what is this a plus y a plus y this is a set which stands for a plus y where a is an element of a okay now let us prove that m star of a plus y is m of a <coughs> this is very simple actually you should know that what is if i have a set a okay then a plus y means i have shifted every element of a by y so i have something like this this is a plus y right now we have to talk about m star of a plus y and you should know what is the definition of m star of a we have seen it in the last video this is infimum of summation of l of i k such that your a is contained in union k from 1 to infinity i k where i k are open and bounded intervals okay this was the definition of m star of any set so whenever you have to talk about m star of any set so we have to look for a cover right so suppose we have a cover of open and bounded intervals of a it means that we have open and bounded intervals collection countable collection such that your a is contained in union of those intervals and if i transfer each element of that collection of intervals i'll get a cover of a plus y right so you should note that so first point which you should note is okay first point you should know that ik plus y okay i'm sorry ik 
where k is from 1 to infinity is a cover for a if and only if i k plus y if i translate each element of the collection by y k from 1 to infinity is a cover of a plus y this is the first thing which you should have note you should have uh, like noted the second thing is the second thing which you should note is that if i k is open and bounded interval then obviously i k plus y is also open and bounded right and the third thing which you should notice you see you have this interval here i k right and i have transfer i have translate this interval by y so i have this interval as i k i have added each element of the i k by y so i have this i k plus y you can see that length will remain unchanged so you have that l of i k is same as l of i k plus y right now we have these three properties now we are ready for proving that this m star is translation invariant so we'll start with the definition of m star of a plus y what is this okay we'll start with m star of a m star of a is nothing but i'm just writing the definition infimum of summation l of i k such that a is contained in union of i k where i k is open and bounded right now because this thing is if and only this stand for do a i k is the cover of a so we will use this first property so i k is the cover for a if and only if i k plus y is the cover for a plus y so i can write this thing as infimum of and this l of i i k is l of i k plus y so i'll write this l of i k plus y such that a plus y is contained in union of i k plus y right where i k plus y is open and bounded right now what is this this is the definition of m star of a plus y this is the definition of m star of a plus y so this is equal to m star of a plus y so we have proved that the outer major of a set is same as outer major of its translation by any real number so basically we have proved that outer major outer libeg major is translation invariant in the next videos we will prove another two properties thank you